Alrighty, I'm live now. Hello everyone, Cinnamon here, and if you recognize this place, um... To be fair, I've been screwed. I got teleported here, even though I am... I'm only... In underscore six. I have a friend of mine, uh... Twitch TV Chris, 2.0. He is currently, um... He's currently going to be watching my stream, because he may just, um, he, he might buy Elden Ring. So, hopefully, he'll be able to enjoy it. So, anyway, um, I want to show him something that a lot of people have been having trouble with. Uh, myself included in my original Escanor uh, build. done a critical on this bitch. Like, entirely. That's the most amount of damage I've done to this thing. Right, uh, these things are genderless, so hitting them in the dick is really gonna do much good. Oh, 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 Almost gonna do it. Almost. Oh no, you, you decided to do that shit. Okay. Get get away from the edge so you don't wrongfully smack me right off. Sudden. I got teleported. I teleported, and now I'm fighting a giant ass golem. Who is uh, between a column and the entrance. Guardian bitch. <laughs> Not even joking, that is literally the first time I have ever beaten that enemy. <sighs> yeah, and that was on my most overpowered build, the Escanor build. Even though I don't use fire, which I'm supposed to, I use uh, whatever I have at my disposal. So that's the uh, the great Erd tree. You gotta go there. Escanor is from the Seven Deadly Sins. There, T. John. Uh, how could you forget the lion sin of pride? You absolute numpty. <laughs> I 
<laughs> the Mario piece of shit. Yeah, he's he's definitely like Mario. He's Italian. He has black hair. And whenever the sun comes up at like 12 in the afternoon, Mario just turns into a giant muscular fucker that's on fire and absolutely dominates demons and angels all included into one. Definitely sound. That's definitely what Mario does. <laughs> <laughs> God, I love giving you shit, teach on. It's funny. Anyway, um, there are these golden summon signs here, Chris, that this is an NPC that can help you with the boss. Also, you get summons like the Ashen Lone Wolf like the Lone Wolf Ashes, the Warhawk Ashes, you get the idea. And now I'm gonna fight Goldrick the Grafted. And hopefully, I don't get my poof pushed in so hard, I'm tasting it. I'm not gonna lie, no cap, why does this guy remind me of all the, like, remind me of the men like exes who will cheat on me? He, he kind of does. He looks like he doesn't even know the belt. Okay, no bullshit. How about that? No bullshit. Original center language. No bullshit. He looks like he doesn't even own a belt. Yeah, I'm not speaking uh, latent hipster. No, it's an NPC. You're gonna see a cutscene. Yeah. You should watch the stream. Well, your fapping days are over, buddy. Well, Godric can't masturbate anymore. Off his own arm. He cut off his own arm. What? Get on my channel and watch the stream, man. Watch the stream. Lend me thy strength. And he's putting himself inside a dragon. Okay, this is going to be BDSM uh, masochistic, masochistic mutilation to uh, to animal incest. Okay. Bestiality. There we go. No, it was dead. So it's so it's bestiality necrophilia. Well, I guess we're gonna see Godric bestiality off this fucking world. Oh fuck! I'm trying to make a golf joke. I'm trying to die. A sword piercing his chest. I'll summon my wolves. Ding dong, dinner boys. I got Fenrir, Fido, and fuck oh, hey man. Hey, come on, my my wolves haven't done shit to you yet. Don't be insulted. I am the Lord of you all that the is Lord of anything. You are not that in a bag of potato chips, you fucking multi-armed bitch. To our home. Bathed in rays of gold. Yeah, they're they're good. I mean, unless you're very poor, you can actually do quite a bit with patience. Remembrance of the grafted. Ew. Oh, and that's how you're supposed to spell grafted. Fuck. I spelled it with a PH, son of a bitch. I am currently forty-eight. Level forty-eight. The highest attribute I have is Vigor, which is my health, which is the red bar up there. Uh, so I'm speaking of because apparently I'm so convincing I sound like I'm from Ireland, the UK, Russia, and Germany. Oh yeah, I do speak fluent retard, yeah. 
And before anyone says anything, I was in special ed, so I can say retard. So, fuck at you. <laughs> Why does this ca large open chasm remind me of one of my exes? Hmm, I can't quite put my finger on it. It's so familiar. Uh, it wasn't the one with the fur in the furry costume, no. And before anyone says anything, yes, I did date a furry. Mostly because she was a kinky bitch. <laughs> what thought come in your head? What the fuck? Well, I mean, sometimes oats do cause your stomach to produce gas, and it's better to burn. Oh, churros! Oh, sweet. Oh, it's been a while since I've had a churro. Not even gonna lie, I, I miss having churros. Oh. Comment down below what your favorite soft drink is between, uh, well, yeah, comment down below what your favorite soft drink is. I'm uploading this to YouTube as the part two to my, uh, to my Toyohisa Shimatsu build. Oh, you mean the DVD rant? Yeah, I decided I'm not gonna upload it mostly because uh, I don't want my channel flagged. Praise the message and behold secret passage. You know, I would like to behold my foot in your ass because I can't attack this. I can't attack this. Uh. Hey you, can I, can I go through? Can I go through you? No. Can I whack it? No. Can I smack it? No. I can't do jock shit, Lottie. Also, do you see that golden thing that's like in the right corner? I just disappeared. Yeah, whenever that procs, you can't attack shit. Secret door? Nope. Oh, it's open world. People, people will invade your world, and they will kill you, because it's an option. Well, the thing is, the reason why they'll kill you is because it's all for, like, you you kill people to get, like, different different weapons, gear, and shit. I, I don't know them all. I don't really know any of them, really. Uh, I think it's just for bloody severed fingers. Because you can go... There's multiple endings to this game, believe it or not, and honestly, I have not seen a single one of them. Because I'm not going to spoil that for myself. Lernia of the Lakes. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, it's a new area. But sadly, I have to go back through here into a tower so I can unlock. So I can um, get myself a new, um, uh, what do you call it, a sigil. I can get myself a sigil. So y'all get to see. I gotta go here in this area. That's gonna bring me here. That I, get to, that I get to be brought all the way here. So that way I have Godric's little sigil piece giving me strength. And not horribly fucking me in the ass to the point where I say uncle. Yeah, see, um... 
TD gets it. <laughs> well, it, it's it's a lot better. It's a lot better than saying the word that begins with R and ends with ape. You know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So anyway, uh, hello, doggo. Hello. Come on. Come here. Oh yeah. You know, oddly enough, I know many victims of that particular action, and they don't get offended by the word, they just get offended by how you use it. Which is very appropriate and very mature of them. Like, unless there's an enemy that absolutely just buggers the hell out of you, you don't have a right to say that word. Which, believe me, I support that shit all the way. So go over here. Not gonna get buggered by you. you can fuck right. Oh shit! Nope, 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 nope. And you ain't getting a shit, a bitch. You are not getting any of this ass. What? The? Oh my fucking god! No, no, no! Run! Toil, toil, to run, run, double, double, toil and trouble, fucking run, 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 run. <sighs> fucking Christmas in July. I forgot that lion thing was there. Also, to give you all a better look, look at this fucker. Look at him. Boy. Back off, you fettered puss. Now I get to go all the way of... Oh, Grace. No, I, I don't really like how they say touch Grace. Uh, how about you say touch the light? Can, can you figure that? Because it doesn't sound very consensual if you catch my drift. Alt Drake Talisman, now I can have a resistance to lightning. Oh, I would need to have a PS4 in order to do that. And sadly, I don't have a job. Mr. Giant, do not, do not be a dick. Oh, there's two of you. Three, there's three. Yeah, you're better off watching it on YouTube. That way you don't have to sit there. I just took that square to the face. I put my money on Kratos because he's easy for So I'm 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 sorry to tell you, but unless you forgot, and okay, I'm okay, okay. So I think you're forgetting. No, no, I think you're forgetting something. Kratos is a mortal being cursed by his lineage for killing them, and in doing so, he cannot die. The only one that can kill him is Loki. So, ha ha. I win. He killed his grandfather, Kronos, which is a titan. He killed his father, which is the king of gods. No, no, I'm not defending that. I support that shit. If your father sends you straight to Hades and manipulates you and turns your mother into a monster... And you watch your little, you literally watch your younger brother die because the gods will it. Because you know you are the servant of the gods. Fuck you. I, I would do the same thing as Kratos. Zeus does. Zeus deserved more than death. He deserved to be violated to the furthest point of Kratos's mind. Like whatever, whatever the fuck Kratos could do to a human being, he does. He should have done it to Zeus. 
Not just kill them, torture them for years. Oh, fuck. He, 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 he fucked them up real good. Hey, Uncle Poseidon, you know, um, hey, um, don't take this no wrong way, but I'm going to metaphorically stick my dick in your head. And, you know, fuck you. Honestly, I'd have to say God of War 2. It's it's my favorite. Oh. I think my favorite fight would have to be when he fights um when he fights Ares. There we go. I think that might have been Hercules. I think he... I think he did a little bit more than just fuck him up. He absolutely brutalized his brother's ass. He died. He he died in one. He died in two, and he died in three. The only reason he came back in one was because he had more to do, and he had he had to fight Ares. He died in two because Zeus killed him, and he died in three because he killed himself to save to save the people to give them hope. You gonna? Yeah, you're gonna do Kratos like that after all the shit he's done for you, really? You're gonna do that shit? Serious? Like, for real, you're gonna do that to Kratos. He slept with, um, I believe it was, um... She was a giant. She's, he slept with a giant. I, I think her name was Tira? Tyra? Or, some, or something like that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, you you have to remember, you you have to remember that um the reason why they hit it is mostly to give, it's mostly for the people to figure out like oh who was his mother and it turned out to be the last of the giants and it's like holy shit. So, Atreus is part, he's part Olympian god, and he's also part giant, and he's also part, I believe he's also part Nordic god, or whatever the hell it is. Like, he's, he's, he's literally part, he, he's literally a combination of holy fuck. He's the trinity of holy fuck. Well, that's because... Well, the reason why he's part he he only seems human is because he doesn't know how to unlock his godly abilities. And the reason for that is because Kratos does not want him to become like a god. He doesn't want him to he doesn't want him to have that influence in his brain like, "Oh, I'm a god. I can do this." And goes off and beats and rapes children and shit. He, he, Kratos doesn't want his son doing that. He doesn't need another Zeus. Yeah, he killed, um, who was it? Who, who the hell did he kill? It wasn't, it was one of Thor's boys. I forgot who it was. Mandy and Modi? I think it was Modi.
He he one of them was one of them was Yeah, he he did kill one of them because Kratos killed one which was I believe Mag Magdi Magni and then and then the other one that got beat by his father goes, I'm here to avenge my brother and prove to everyone I'm not a peasant! And then, you know, he got his ass beat and then Atreus stabbed him and threw him off a of lead and shit. <laughs> no, he, he talked to him about how he shouldn't be doing that shit. I, I believe I believe Kratos is gonna get I believe he's gonna survive. I believe so because remember he's part Titan. He's part Titan. He's all he's also a he, he's also part god. And let's not forget he's fucking immortal. He cannot die. I, I believe Yeah, I believe it's gonna be centered around Atreus because we already know like Atreus is Yeah, you get to play Atreus a little bit, yeah. But no, I I believe it's gonna be centered around how about how Atreus becomes Loki. I'm pretty sure that's what the thing is going to be, and how Atreus is going to have to be. So, the whole thing about Loki is that he wants to bring about, he wants to bring about Ragnarok. And the reason why, we don't know. It's mostly because he wants to jump to the world, he wants to end it, begin it, become a god, and get started. But somehow, Atreus has to become Loki. So my theory is Yeah, once, but he he if 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 we're being all honest here, a tr Loki could not beat Kratos even at the No, like, how, how, do, how do I put this? I, f I forget the lore, but the thing is, Kratos literally cannot die by any means. He has to die in a specific way, like a god-killing blade, like the, Olymp like the blade of Olympus. Like, to fully destroy his body and soul is the way to kill him, because he impaled himself! He impaled- he, the motherfucker impaled himself! To, like spread whatever power was in Pandora's box that didn't kill him and that that's a that's made by Zeus that blade was made by the king of the gods to rule all the Titans and send them into Tartarus and shit yeah it well there's no Yeah, the Sisters of Fate. Yeah, and they control the fate of every living being. He fought the beings that were supposed to be supposedly immortal, but, you know, oh, hey, guess what? Uh, you're not.
Yeah, but thanks to his godly power, he can regenerate. And even though his body grows weaker, it can still regenerate. Now, what's 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 with this giant? What's with this giant turtle? You are tarnished, aren't you? I welcome you to the Church of Vows. I am Muriel, steward of this sacred chamber. My apologies for the unseemly state of affairs. Do you know the origin? of this place, how it came to be known as the Church of Vows. Well, that is a shame. But who can blame you? The shattering has caused us, all of us, to lose sight of something very dear. It is here, at the Church of Vows, that the great houses of the Erd Tree and the Moon were joined. By the matrimonial bond between red-haired Radigan and Renala of the Full Moon. And so our church holds in view the monuments of both houses. The Earth Tree of the Capitol and the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. Who, who died? What? Okay, so what game are you talking about now? Oh yeah, I I don't I don't I never watched it. Sorry. I never watched the last of us. No no see it it's kinda hard for me to get attached to to like game characters because half of the time the story is just like, oh hey, guess what? We're in an apocalyptic world and you're supposed to give a shit about this person, and it's like, okay, give me a reason why. Because she's in love with so and so. Not to be sexist, but supposedly it's supposed to be a breeding pin for some. For, for she, she's just a fertilizer, man. She's just there to, you know, survive and try to breed and shit. It's like. How the, how the hell am I supposed to get attached to someone that's just based? Until like Jack set the guy plays it. He, he at least. Boulder? Boulder? Yeah, Boulder. Yeah, that's Boulder. Yeah, Freya. Honestly, I'd say more or less he more he I'm pretty sure Kratos would just knock her the fuck out. Just Chris Brown her real quick. BAM! Boy, let's go. That's fair, and to be honest, that's the majority of the time whenever I, whenever a new game comes out, it's like, okay, can I at least get a hint of what the story is, and then once I understand what's going on, it's like, oh, okay, I can get into it.
tomorrow, tomorrow, I'm gonna be cranky tomorrow. So I already came from this way, so... Supposedly Medusa was a woman that was that was you know she claimed that her beauty was more magnificent than the gods beauty Then Athena cursed her to have hair of snakes and she whenever a man would whenever anyone would gaze upon her They would turn to stone Because Athena didn't like what shit she was talking about Because, um, to put bluntly, if you talk shit and claim yourself better than a god, they will mess your life up. They will literally malform your body, twist you, contort you, and fuck your life up. If, no joke, no joke, metaphorically speaking, if you say, my dick is bigger than Zeus's, he'll do this. By the snap of his fingers, you're a toad. Who's got a bigger dick now, bitch? Pew! Off to Tartarus you go. You know what? I think as punishment, little toad, I'll stick you in the asshole of this giant. Plunk. Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief, decent movie. The second one, not so much. They botched it so fucking bad. And... The second one just made me, it just made me shake my head and just go, how the fuck do you mess it up that bad? The first one was, the first one was good. I mean, it had a premise and a story. Oh, someone stole Zeus's lightning. Now to avoid war, you gotta do this shit. Now it's just, really? The second one was just... The second one didn't—it—it it, it didn't really throw me off. It just made no fucking sense. It's like, oh hey, you know what? In, instead of like taking a normal shower, I'm gonna bring this toaster in and use it as a bath bomb because I saw it on TikTok. It's the bath bomb challenge. Makes no fucking sense. You watch that shit in school? Oh, aren't you lucky? The only movies we got in my school were, uh, how do you say, uh, the boy, in the, the boy in the Stripes, in the White Stripes, or Black Stripes, or whatever the hell it was, Nazi Germany, and... Yeah, that, that's the only movie I remember. Oh, you, you cried? I laughed. I laughed my ass off. No, I, I laughed my fucking ass off when that boy died. When he got fumed and put into that gas chamber, I laughed my fucking ass off. I, I, I genuinely did. I, I laughed I laughed like I was in front of Gabriel Iglesias on stage on a comedy show. I laughed my fucking ass off. No, no, the reason... though I, I know he didn't know what he was doing, but the reason why I was laughing is because, hey, guess what? Your son is human. He couldn't be. He you can't tell the difference between a German kid and a Jewish kid. So guess what? Your son's dead. You're a bunch of ignorant fucks. Have fun. You you, you lost your son. You Nazi fuck. That's the whole reason why I laughed. It's because the 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 boy's father was a Nazi. He didn't want him hanging around the Jewish kid. Well, guess what? Thanks to your, you know, your following ignorance of, of, of the Führer, the great Führer Adolf. No offense, Adolf is a D 
decent human being because he made the sex doll and shit. But no, you 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 got what you fucking deserve. It's it's a it's a teaching moment. Actually, fun fact: Did you know that Adolf Hitler was actually a Nobel Prize winner? Did you know that? He was also vegan. He was also vegan, and he didn't condone human exper like he did not condone animal experimentation for products. Granted, he did use Jews and Persians, but that's beside the point. He did good things. He was just. Good Well, I mean, I am part German, so, I mean, so, you know, there's that. But no, I, I don't support the fact that he killed millions of people. I do recognize him that he did fuck up. He dropped the ball when he started, say, when he started saying Jewish people, you know, kill all Jews and shit, no. Honestly, I, I, I recognize him for the great things he has accomplished. Aside from becoming the fear of his country, he did create the sex doll because people were catching syphilis and other STDs, so he made the sex doll. Have fun, boys. I made something for you to relieve yourselves. Not really, because he made a certain brand, and that... He made a certain model, and that model has diminished greatly, so... After generations of that? I don't think so. Well, yeah, people are getting killed to this day. Well, I mean, well... Yeah, that's mostly because of the Muslims, but I'm not going to delve into that because I already, I already know how I feel about them. I, I, I don't hate them as a people, I just hate them for the ideology. Yeah, true, That that is fucked up. Yeah, there, there's a lot of things fucked up in the world, Chris, but, I mean, like, what... Oh, yeah. Yeah, the reason... And the, the reason... You, you know, the reason why they don't do that is because there's a lot of snowflakes that don't want to hear the truth. La, 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 la. I don't want to hear about Asian women getting kidnapped and raped and sold. I don't want to hear that. Can you talk about something pleasant? How oh, about the sunshine and the rainbows? Yeah, can we talk about the sunshine and the rainbows? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because, you know, to, to quote, to quote Louie from Beastars, lies and deceiving, f through lies and deceit, in the name of peace, that's all it is. Which is absolutely fucking stupid. I mean... How, how the hell are you gonna how, how the hell are you gonna go through everything like everything's normal like oh hey um uh you know this thing about with um so and so it's not real it's not real uh look at the unicorn on the tv everyone looks at the unicorn on the tv and the guy's like okay we seriously need to come up with better source material to get these fucking idiots to not focus on the bad shit we don't need that we need them to give we need them to give us their money that's what we need and the same person talking about getting people's money is also the one that's in part with sex trafficking children, women in foreign countries and shit. Yeah, we live in such a great world. Oh, Walt Disney? You mean... Oh yeah, but I mean, you know, it's for a great enterprise, don't you know? Oh, that's all fake. Let, let's put on a fake show. Even though half the people that work there are, you know... 
actually, you know, fun fact. Um, I I saw on a I, I saw on a video that the people in costumes they have to wear tags on their ankles so they don't make off with any of the product. They have to. They literally have to have someone unlock it for them so they don't leave. Just they don't just leave with like some shit. It's like, oh hey, we got Mrs. Cinderella here, and she's got like giant ass tits she didn't have this morning. What does she have there? Oh, she's got T-shirts and shit she can't afford, and she wants to give to her niece and nephew. Now nah, we're gonna take this shit, and you're gonna go to prison for the rest of your life because Walt Disney. You know, I love how I love how I'm saying this on stream, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get targeted and shot in the head. Lovely. I'm not even gonna lie, the Russian Mafia has a better- They have more code of conduct and honor than any of the companies here in the US. That's sad. That is sad. They deal in drugs, alcohol, and other banned shit. What do we do here? Oh, we lie to our- we lie to a lot of people and say things are fine here in Disneyland. It's all smiles and ice cream. There's no pedophilia, there's no rape, there's no murder, it's just smiles gleamed with cocaine. Can you blame me for being high? be real real quick to I, I I'm gonna quote Brad Williams to take care of the pedophilia just give them midgets just give them midgets make sense oh easy because oh easy because here here imagine this if you would someone who's into small individuals they're fucking the small individual and they get caught. Ah, oh, you caught me. But she's 30. And she shows ID. I'm perfectly legal. This is consensual. Fuck you. Now you, big boy, keep fucking me. Keep chalking me like a pull cue. Does that not make sense? Yeah, it does. Disgusting, but it does. Also, for those of you who don't know Brad Williams... Oh yeah, Trump Trump really did. Oh, she blacklisted a lot of shit and she tried she she did a lot of bad shit. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say what she did, but she did a lot of the fucked up stuff. Oh yeah, can can we also talk about some? Did you know that Joe Biden actually took showers with his daughter and fondled her? Yeah, that's yeah, that's real. Joe Biden molested his daughter in the shower. He even wrote a book about it. She had it in her diary and everything. I mean, don't don't get me wrong, that's fucked up, but hey, um, um, why the fuck didn't you stab him in the dick? Like, if you know he's into that shit, why didn't you use your young feminine charm to, like, stab him repeatedly till he couldn't breathe or move? Or even twitch? From, she was, she, from the ages of 12 to 18, I believe. Oh, she wrote a book about it. It was in her diary. And a lot of things are being exposed now. 
Oh, he he can go to jail. He will, but a lot. But he's got um. What do you call that? Um, what's the currency you call here? Um, money. He's got a lot of money and a lot of people that are fucked up in the head to keep him from going to jail. So he so so Biden can literally bring a whole school bus full of little girls and just fuck them, and no one can do a thing. Why? Because money. Lovely, cheery, happy times here in Centerland. We're talking about the real problems of America. Can anyone here agree? Can anyone here... Can anyone here really blame... Can anyone here blame anyone for, like, not wanting to hear this shit? It's hot. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm fucking in the head, but that's not what I'm Has anyone here ever heard of, a uh, Dead Man Wonderland? Anyone at all? Okay, so I'll give you the premise. I'll give you the premise. So, say T. John here stole a box of kittens. He goes to jail. Okay, I'm sorry, but I'm trying to. I'm trying. I'm. I... <laughs> okay, I did it to fuck with you, but still. I. Okay, so say he stole a box of kittens. He goes to jail. There is a thing that where if people don't have um. Oh, I don't know. Um, if they don't have enough prisoners, he just might get shafted with, I don't know, he possessed a lot of cocaine, he did this, he fucked squirrels. So he goes to prison called Dead Man Wonderland. It's not only a maximum security prison where you wear collars that will inject poison into you if you don't eat shitty candy, which holds the antidote, because you're, you know, getting injected with... The poison is injected into your body every day. It's circulating throughout your body. If you don't eat the antidote, you die. Now, it's not only a maximum security prison, it is also a theme park. Where you, T-John, you get to run an obstacle course full of deadly traps, and you get to be mutilated, disintegrated, decapitated, etc. A lot of people die. I would love to make that America's favorite pastime. And the highest motherfuckers on the top of the list would be pedophiles and rapists. The higher the score, the more the more worse the gauntlet will be. And just as a nice little prize for the kitties who got diddled, guess what? You get a chance to kill the motherfucker. Or possibly mutilate him by cutting off his cock and balls with a miniature guillotine. That will most likely have a 5% chance at stalling at the last minute, giving an inch of reprieve for the guy to go, oh, oh thank god, while a highly trained sniper from 50 yards away blows away his cock and balls with a... 50 caliber anti-material rifle. Why? Because of that's fun. As, and as he's slowly, slowly crawling away, the kids who this man attacked and ruined for the rest of their lives get to beat him to death before he bleeds out. Sounds like fun, doesn't it, boys? <laughs> yeah, they do. Yes, it is... It, it's fucked up, yeah. They have a whole island for kids just for them to diddle. It's fucked up. If, if you think that's fucked up, if, if you think that's fucked up, the Vatican, the Vatican in Greece, or wherever the fuck it is, they have priests that will touch little boys. And do all that stupid shit. No joke. They have priests that do that shit to altar boys. Not just here in the U.S. They do. And guess what? Ha guess what happens? Nothing. I serve the Lord, and I serve the Pope. But you also make the altar boys serve you. Oh no, the Pope is the Pope is okay. He doesn't condone the pedophilia. He doesn't condone that. He's okay with people being gay and marrying each other. It's just other people that have an issue with that that say the Pope is evil. Because supposedly in the Bible, it's, you know, oh, hey, it's supposed to be man and woman, not a man and some guy named Joseph. Oh, um, I could literally tell you that I am God. 
You don't want to know why? Because the only time people ever talk to me is when they want something. And again, the only concept of God he has is because he can influence people. He can also rewrite Bibles, make multiple copies, and then tell people, Hey, it's okay for you to rape your kids and God wills it. Hey, neither am I, but, you know, I'm, I'm still normal, quote-unquote. Then again, you, if you think about it, we're all kind of fucking ahead to begin with, so it doesn't really matter. It just kind of depends on what, it depends on what position we're in. Now, you don't go through a lot of help. You, you go through the world just thinking, why was I born? being diddled by arrows. Oh, they're more than fucked, T-John. They are royally screwed. I mean... Like, don't, don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong, T-John, you're still a part of it, you're just, you're part of the late, you're part of the earlier generation. You were born in what? Yeah, you're not, you're not here diddling children. Not thinking, oh, it's okay, I can identify as whatever. Yeah, you're not that. You're not, you're not that fucked in the head. I don't know, see, that, that's where that actually comes in. If you identify as this or that, and you decide to do something fucked up and say, hey, it's because I identify as this, you need to be decapitated. You need to have your guts spilled and your head lopped clean off. I don't care who you are. You identify as a cat and fuck cats. You identify as a squirrel and fuck squirrels? Kill yourself. If you identify as a child and you're a 40-year-old man and you decide to touch kids, I will gladly beat you to death with your own severed dick. Oh, God. Oh god, I feel like I'm a throw up. The the the, re the 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 whole reason why that is is because their mothers never had a choice. They they were gr they grew up around that shit, and they think, oh, it's okay for me to do this because my mommy did it. At the tender age of five years old, no kid, you you're not supposed to do that. How about you wait until you're 15 or 16? At least wait till high school. No. Yeah, it is serious. It is. I include your audio TD because I forgot to do so. Yeah, so. You, you know, you know what? I'm, I'm going to tell you all a little story. It's a short one. Don't worry. So, one day, I had to go to this place, which is an apartment complex, where you ran out of, you ran out a little space to live in, right? I shit you not. I see a child with, like, a swollen belly, and the first thing that hits my mind is, oh, she's got a tumor. She drops something, and I run over to help pick it up, and I say, I hope you have a good day, and I hope things get better for you. She turns around, gives me the dirtiest look with a snarl, and she says, and I quote, 
This is my uncle's baby, and I am going to love it with everything I have. Then walks away. At the tender age of 12, she's already having a kid. Never did I ever think I would ever want to smack a child. Especially a pregnant child. So goddamn hard, I could call myself a pimp named Slickback. I, I never thought I'd ever want to pull a Slickback move and just slap a little bitch. Never. Furthermore, who the fuck does that to children? And why? Ugh. Can, can, can you imagine that? Can you imagine walking down like, oh hey, I'm cleaning this place, and then you see a kid with a swollen stomach. Do you think tumor? I did. Turned out to be the complete fucking opposite. What would you do in that scenario? What, what the hell would you do? Yeah, that was my first thought. My friend, on the other hand, says her uncle is already in jail, and I'm hoping he goes to prison. I hope that motherfucker dies. I hope he gets beat in prison. I hope, I, I genuinely hope he gets turned inside out. Just. Oh yeah, he got beat so bad not even his wife or his mother could recognize him. I hope that happens to that bastard. Now, Jared Fogold, when, whenever I use Jared Fogold, it usually means the R word. Yeah, you, you, you hope they get their heads beat in. Right? Yeah. <sighs> I know we've been having such a lovely conversation here on my Twitch stream, and I do hope everyone here can realize that we are talking about very serious things that happen in the world. And I hope, and I pray, that none of you report this, because we do need to talk about it. It's a very serious thing that happens in the world and the world is fucked because of it. So for those of you who think, oh, this is unpleasant, you know, report channel, um, find a fork, apply it to the end of your dick, and run full force into a wall. Fuck you. For those of you who agree with us and say that the world is fucked and there needs to be a great amount of change, comment down below, um, gruesome topic, I guess? Hashtag gruesome topic. There's my phone. Also, I gotta go here and I have to apply my um, great ruin so that way I have a boost to my attributes. First thing I forgot to do because I'm, uh, I'm as thick as pig shit. Oh fuck. Hey, TD, you see how grotesque this, uh, this fucker is? TD. You still on my stream? Yeah, you see how grotesque this fucker is? Yeah. Oddly enough, a lot of women would rather bang that than me. I'm not joking. They've literally sent me pictures of this fucker ha pounding the hammer and says, This is a lot better looking than you. I'm like, yeah, because that doesn't exist and neither, do, neither does your common sense. <laughs> oh, this is a rare occasion. I can't remember the last time a new Tarnished made their way to the round table. Very well. As your senior, I bid you welcome. It is safe here. You may let down your guard. Allow me a word of a new house guest. Remember your... 
Alright. No. Ah, look at these grotesque fuckers. Are you that new tarnished? You yes, I am the well. wonderful bat. I am Enya, the finger reader. I interpret the words of the fingers, envoys to the greater will. Look there. The fingers tremble to welcome you, Shadwell. <laughs> Let their wisdom. TJ, I'm going to correct you on this just this once. Root of the Look, TD, order. it's your ancestors. Anchor of all lands, giver of grace, wellspring of all joy. Until it was shattered, the tragic corruption of the order has taken its toll. Across the realm, life lies in ruin, fallen to pieces. Foul curses and misery spread, unabating. But the greater will has not abandoned the realm, nor the life that inhabits it. So it is that the tarnished are guided by grace, called to act. Brave tarnished. You know, not even gonna lie, I, at first I thought you said cock lobster or something like that. of the Elden Ring. What? Seek another of its kind to become an Elden Lord and restore the Golden Order. Let the words of the fingers guide you. Remembrance of gold has found its way into your possession. Demigods and even the crater of the champions are hewn by the earth tree upon their end into remembrances. They are valuable indeed. These remembrances yet house the power of their former masters. And should you wish to wield that same power, well, I will lend you the strength of the fingers. Oh, do not recoil from my offer. The fingers guide us all. And you, tarnished, you are here to take, are you not? I'm gonna send you both, um... Ah, I want to send you both a video on YouTube. Great runes are the stuff of demigods. The children of the goddess, Queen Marika. She who is vested with the old tainted hands. Oh, listen, the great old tarnish in the Ademikodrik the runt of... Now go let the words of the fingers... <sighs> You guys have seen better days. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the end result of when you try to finger a nun. Dry as sandpaper, you lose your fucking skin, and the hair on your knuckles grow gray. <laughs> oh, I am such a bastard, it is not even funny. But it is to me. <laughs> I cannot. Can I not do it? Oh yeah. Do, do I have to? Do I have to um make a weapon here? Sure. <sighs> so do I want? Axe of Goldrick or Grafted Dragon? Bear, 
witness and I command the immune. I think I'll go for the dragon head. It's a dragon. Head. could you have done? I mean, it's, it's, it's tentacles, man. So, just hentai tentacle shit. Yeah, it's not surprising. Was it that surprising? Why is it okay? No, no, no offense, but why the hell does it sound like you're literally playing Ark on like one of the very on one of the very most immersive DLCs? What arc? All right. Hello, gonna sneak up behind you. Thank you. You guarded for nothing. You guard. It. I love how these things are blind, and the AI is just derpy as all hell. Because I know the enemy ahead is going to be a big bitch. I just love how sometimes the AI in games is just absolute fucking shit. That legit scared the fuck out of me. 
Panting. Scared him. So, Jarboy, why are you here? You are not a fucking baby. I just love being bathed in the blood of my enemies. I kill a pot and many a scholar for a ritual pot. Can I get some Mary Jane to go with this pot, please? I like to see oh. Sweet this shit's more hectic than a family reunion. All right, time to get my shit pushed in by a wolf. Let's go. Hello, doggy. So close and yet so far away. <laughs> Dude, that would just make me want to kill it even more. <laughs> Come on. Good lord. You know what? I think I'll summon the knight. The noit? The noit. Summon the noit. No, I'm not talking about the uh, shift in day. I'm talking about this one over here. Manish Knight of Engval. Why Engval? Because, you know. Time for me to run past all the bullshit. See ya, bitches. So he's a Shimatsu is fucking right off to the boss room. Even when I'm walking in a snail's pace, you couldn't hit me. You a failure. Okay. Alright.
For a second there, I thought a group of uh, Jewish individuals were trying to hark you for money. <laughs> so wait, they're blobfish? see shit you don't see shit you don't see oh hell with you Goddamn red wolf motherfucker. Oh, Jeff Foxworthy, why are you such a bitch? How when when the hell did you go from a redneck to a goddamn sorcerer with four legs? Tell me when. I guess I have a lot to um work on, especially my material, considering I have yet to stand up to you, you fucker. Cause you keep knocking me down.
goddamn night. I took its mouth, and my knight took its ass, and shoved its halberd so it nearly fell to my halberd's, my knight's halberd's tip. It nearly skewered my dick in two. Say there's no fucking hidden path, you ask. God damn it. I'm gonna label this Godric, Jeff Foxworthy, and the Moon Witch. Or maybe I'll say the bitch of the moon or something. Seen, I've already seen 2018's uh, price. I don't need the same. I'm pretty sure my last one has had some of these good so side oh go for yourself the two heads you're dead they say two heads are better one but they can serve you all too well You can all tell that this game is really taking a toll on the little bit of my insanity. Sure, sure, I think it's probably a point. You know, I'm always getting you killed. Whatever. Alright, I'm gonna spend my insanity. Oh, you killed the ones right behind me. Guardian to the Yeah, once I get to another grace that's near the boss, I might stop the stream. The keyword is might, because I really wanna... I really... There ain't no fucking way. Uh. individual. I'm going to beat him so bad Chris Brown is going to think I took it too far. He punched her and beat her and shit. No, not Chris. Uh, I, I, I think so. I, I don't know. Maybe... Yeah, I, I, yeah I, I think so. I think Chris Brown was a comedian. Oh, that's Chris Rock.
Okay, quick question. How could you conf Actually, you know what? They're both named Chris. Never mind. You win your argument. It's almost three o'clock, and I want this night to choke on the cock, because fuck him, fuck him and his goddamn AI bullshit. the sound of the microwave just before the worm explodes in it. Uh, what are you trying to kill? Spider? Moth? Yeah, kind of. It's a bit soothing. It reminds me of food, which I don't really have a Closer and closer to killing him. 
just do this and go. Here's a noose, hang yourself because Matthew does not love you. Fuck you. If any of you did not get that reference, then you are. Be wary of weak foe. First off, weak foe, but seek weak foe. Be wary of weak foe. Who in the Fiddler's family? Oh, it's the moon bit. It's the moon hunt. Also, also, it's not humming, it's shitty singing. Get it right. I was saying, I get to kill the moon, ho. I get to kill the moon, ho. <laughs> Is that Scholar brain dead, or were they just hungry for my foot? Which remind me of the lost w the fire witch of Isola. Fucking finally. What? You're you're not.
not dead. Your last gasps of breath. Ah, oh, my beloved. Have no fear. I will hold thee. Patience. Why the fuck are you crawling? Ye will be countless born. Forever and ever. Okay, Moon Ho, what the hell did you do? What did you do and why? Why is this happening? Upon my name is Rani the Witch. Mother's rich slumber shall not be disturbed by thee. Foul trespasser. Send word. I love how you say that when this and bitch wide. was falling, and now she's standing in the real form. Of the last queen of Caria, Renala of the full moon. Oh, for fuck's sake. And the majesty of the night she conjureth. Okay, that's a bit of a dick move. For both me and the poor bastard. <laughs> rune of the unborn. Ah, so basically I killed a fetus. I guess my character is pro-choice. <laughs> so now I kill the moon bitch and a fetus. Where did he flee, my sweetings? Come out from whence he hide. There are books and light aplenty, dither not. Come out, say I, or will ye be grave to be better born anew? Oh, it's locked. Oh, you give me a chest and it's locked. Thou, is it thy wish to be born anew? To become a sweeting, reborn of my beloved egg? Be not alarmed. I would birth thee as a sweeting. Yeah, I'm, I'm genuinely trying to see if that's actually her as holding him. I, I'm trying to see if that thing is a part of her, because if it is, oh dear lord, why? But also, what in the hell? Egg clutched by Renalia. Queen 
of the full moon, great ruin of unborn demigods, per perfects those who have been born anew. The children born anew of Byronalia are all frail and short-lived, imperfect beings each and all. Great ruin of the shard bearer Goldrick. Its blessing raises all attributes. So, Godric, so I'm going to say Godric, Godric the, go the, gra the Grafted, Jeff Foxworthy, and the Full Moon Witch, and the Great Full Moon. New items can be purchased by the Twin Tasks. I love that. Can I do anything else? Can I bond myself a new armor? Let's see. But for joy to see what it does. White stone knife can be added new battle arts and affinities to weapons. That's a bit depressing now, isn't it? So now I've killed Renalia. I've killed the Goldrick. Where's the... Where's the old fecker? Oh, Mr. Dickhead. To become Elden Lord, the thing has much <sighs> Take this. Oh, I've got me a new talisman. Now, Ooh, yeah. go become. Queens of Leggings. No, Karian Rigger Scepter? Or Renalia's Full Moon? Practically useless because my intelligence is an out of 70. Incarnate a full moon and launch it at foes. Save it for later. But anyway, I'm saving up a remembrance. So now I just have to talk to uh, Mr. Wiley Coyote, Armored and Dickhead. I forgot that he's in here. You've received, then I bid you welcome. I am known as G as a tarnished. I am a Gu Nabil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get get on. You'll be after more great Then, as your fellow, allow me to die. The inheritors of the great runes, the shard bearers. We of the round table know the location of Godric the Grafted, Lord of Stormvale, General Radan, who fought Melania and her rot to a standstill in the Caled Wilds. Praetor Rykard, Lord of the Volcano Manor of Mount Gelmir. Morgot, the Grace Given, Veiled Monarch and Lord of Lame Dell. And Renala, Queen of the Full Moon, ruler of Rhea Lucaria's Academy. You'll still be after more great runes. The Academy of Rhea Lucaria lies to Limgrave's north, towering over the mist-laden lands of Lyernia. Renala is Queen of the Carian Royals. 
who govern the Academy, but Renala herself is no demigod. Her beloved Radagon left her to become Queen Marika's second husband, taking the title of King Consort. The great rune dwells within the amber egg that was Radagon's gift to her. Alright, so I guess he's not gonna tell us anything. I'm gonna end the stream here. I will be uploading this to YouTube, and if I get any backlash from it, I guess I'm screwed. But anywho, I hope you all enjoyed the stream and this video. So like, subscribe, favorite, share with your friends, and as always, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace!